Once you have all the individual elements of the composition prepared, it's time to take a look at arrangement for performance. Now, an arrangement can be very subjective. It totally depends on what you're going for. But I'm going to show you a basic technique of building an arrangement by gradually layering individual parts on top of each other. So let's see how we can do this with our setup here. Let's have a listen to the sounds I have in the set. This is a bad sound. It just plays a chord progression. And then I have this brighter sound. Same chord progression. I have a basic bass part, just playing octaves, and then a more complex one. I also have some different drums. One additional sound I do have here is a riser. This is very critical to create transitions from one section to another. So let's have a listen to this. All right, and I also have a lead sound that I'm going to perform with, making sure it's in the correct scale, correct octave. All right, now I'm ready to perform the arrangement. So I'm going to start with the pad sound. I'm going to gradually make it brighter. And now I'm going to introduce the next chords track. Now the bass part. Now the riser and the drums. Switch over to the lead instrument and jam a little. All right, once you have jammed for a little while, you want to end the arrangement. Let's take a look at a very simple technique to finish up the song. On the master track over here in Ableton Live, I'm going to add a specific effect track. So let's go into the audio effects section in the library. Under audio effect track, under performance and DJ, I'm going to load in a preset called Fade to Gray. So I just drag that and drop it on the master before this limiter here. So this is a fairly simple audio effect track, but it produces a pretty interesting result. It creates this washout effect, and it's very easy to imply this could be the end of the arrangement. All right, so I'm just going to continue for where I was. And now if I want to end, I just increase this fade to gray parameter. I'm going to turn off the different parts that are running, except for the chords. And then filter that down too. So I just showed you one arrangement technique where I gradually build on parts and then gradually break it down. You can try the same thing or come up with your own ideas. There's so many possibilities.